The ship is obviously vulnerable in the early game. Oh. So... Uh, we'll see what happens. Sector 1 is always scary. Yep. Uh, this is not a good fight. This is fine. Okay. One damage, take in three missiles for this fight, I'll take it. Should have been here. <sighs> what the fuck? What the fuck are these fights? I mean, at least they were getting something out of it, but Jesus Christ, please. Artemis, there she don't leave. It's not too bad. Like, Artemis is so insane. It's only bad if the Artemis shot lands into shields. Like, it's obviously a risk, but I feel like it's more risky if I don't board at all. You're risking either way. I don't know. I will definitely, like, bot this fight with ships like Fed C, you, you skip them. They're so stupid. It's over 9,000! Maybe we get a teleporter blue option here. Slightly greedy since you're not getting anything out of those uh, drone parts at the moment, but I... Okay, here I can... I can um... I'll start with Artemis. Then I switch to chain laser. I can't avoid this. After this fight, okay, if we are if you're very very lucky, we can get shields up. Otherwise, it's just a buffer. 
Hello, three fans. Thank you so much for the sub. Here too. For seven months. Thank you so much. Happy Angus. If they put a basic laser online, I could even try to train. A little bit of evasion. Nah, they're going for this, then I can't. I have so much scrap once I get a store though. I mean, kill buffer. Equality can help. Storage cash. Okay, we cannot take damage. Thirteen scrap plus. I don't know. I mostly just need scrap for systems. We want uh, hacking. We want clombe. We want. I don't know. I mean bypass. Sure. Crew is also nice. What else? Weapon training. There is no point in training with this guy. A fire bomb. In case of blue option. Oh no. Okay, we're training evasion here. Sure. And I can also... Um... I can deal some damage on the... Um... On both of them. So when I board... They're, well, not almost dead, obviously. But they won't be as dangerous. Also, Rock Mantis is kind of fine because I can just fight 2 versus 1 against the Mantis while I move around to avoid the Rock. Since the Rock is low. Weapon training? No. I only want I only want the evasion on the pilot. Like weapons training can only matter against auto ships, but I mean I don't know. Like obviously I should get it, but it's so slow for very little gain that I'm skipping it because I'm too lazy. I'm saving it for my brain. I will lose too much brain power if I train weapon here. Like, it will be almost as low as training uh, Albert Beam with Zoltan A. But the benefits are almost nothing in comparison. Perfect for evasion training. 
Almost. It's missing uh, three guys for manned weapons. Yeah. I think a single combat drone is actually better than double heavy. It's not 100% safe, but it'll be slightly faster. I don't know actually, is it? I mean, yes. Double Vulcan for evasion training, yes. You train very, very quickly. But the training won't last long. It's pretty good. I mean, I can finish this guy as well, I guess. Maybe I should start dealing damage. Even if I will have to train with only one engine. Or I might okay, I might risk though triggering the FTL too early. Let let's wait a little bit. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll go for 15 eight on this guy, it's fine. I will lose everything as soon as I get a Columbe. But it will be just on the border, the piloting shall... The pilot shall keep the training. Also, I think I can do something. Whatever. We can also deal damage to trigger the surrender. See if it's good or not. Before committing to the bio kill. Our drone parts is also pretty good considering we start with zero. Still have a decent amount of missiles. I guess I got that play, so mine's weaker in the meantime. I guess I can do one run. Another great start. Yep. Not a bad either. Are we stuck now? Yes, we are. I'll gamble here.
Okay, piloting is done. I need two more, three more for engines. One more. My fastest, mine's Weeper. I, I don't know. Okay, this is some damage. It's actually good that we missed the first shot. This guy, this thing is fully keeps spinning. Okay, level one. A surrender. That's pretty good though. 21 scrap and John. Um, I could be greedy here and do this. I want a power bar. So I won't heal this guy. Right now. Okay. Go up here. Nice. Don't store, so we heal. Um, give me some oxygen back. It could be here. I don't think I've seen that. I just want a stupid store. I can buy everything. Good odds that we are not getting it though. Let them board. Let them board, vent. Send this guy here. Have no stores that sucks I 
Wait for the heal bomb. I don't want distress beacon, so we do one to three. This is not safe. No, no stores. Can have dropped the heal bomb, but it doesn't matter. One store is most likely here. I mean, not necessarily, but good odds. We can't get it though, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I don't like this. Recruit members. Two of them are pretty bad. Solar Flare. I'll do it anyway. I didn't see the fire in my ship. I had to use so many bombs though. Just one here. Okay, the Zoltan scares me. Since I can, let's do this. Jump to the next sector in case there is a store nearby. Definitely Mantis. No store. Yeah, whatever. I could send them in the med in the weapons so it's faster charge time, but whatever. You know what, I'll do this. So in certain fights I could just play the chain laser instead, the preserved missiles. Fucking hazard beacons. Okay, but this is fine.
That's fine. Come back. With oxygen. I don't know if I have uh, more fires. We're fine. Okay, a store. Finally. Have systems, please. Mad Bay. It's fine. Can I buy clocking? Okay. Not bad. Rather evacuating, but I'll take locking. I can keep the armors as well for now. Kill the first guy. to waste more we did this Now we want to go back to 80 scrap for um well hacking. Is this res beacon fine? It's not. Okay, it's a mantis sector. Okay. Honestly, I'm okay with this res beacon in mantis sectors just because mantis sectors have too many empty beacons. Make sure this guy dies. Now we wait again. Yeah, Mantis ships are usually a joke. Okay, not usually, sometimes. They can be just as bad as, well, anything else. I mean, there are the rebel ships as well, they can have only one weapon power. Riggers and Disruptors. I think, both of them. Oh, 
Well, I mean... I'll clock this. Maybe I should fire a missile though. Am I being too greedy, waiting on asteroids? Nah, it was the perfect amount of greed. Maybe. Yeah, this looks fine. Um, I don't think it's worth my missiles. It will be three missiles. Like, I don't care about the map update at this point. Unless it's not as valuable anymore. Come back eventually. Wait, I didn't finish. I don't know if I have four or five. One, two, three. I'll go for three beacons, uh, three jumps, fuck it. I don't think I have four. Maybe it did though. Huh. How do we do this? Double bomb. Now nah, one should be fine. Give me your money. Okay, no, I would have been a dive if I took one more. So, good. Five missile to drop off a reactor. Five missiles. 
It's my only way to kill auto ships. I don't think it's worth it. Fuck you. This game sucks. I think I have to do this so I can re fully remove Zoltan shields with the first volley if I hit both of them. I'll do this, I don't have to vent the entire ship. This run was going so well. That's fine. I kind of want to board before uh, firing. You will earn 36 scrap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need 80 scrap. Is that an iron bomb? I can clock it, I guess. Okay, this is a little too greedy. Really, with no fucking pilot? Oh my god. Well, I'm committed. That's fine. Lauren. I mean... Or... Can I sell Lauren for a 10 scrap? Thank you. 
Okay, we got the scrap. What do we do? Like it will be 100% hacking. If I'm considering bypass, it's just because I'm in a Zoltan sector. I think it's still hacking. And refuel. Uh, I don't know though. Yeah, it's hacking. Like, the problem with bypass is, um... We can get bombers. Wait, can we get bombers in this sector? Sector 3? No bombers. I mean... Nah, fuck it, I don't care. I'm not skipping hacking. Fuck that. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? So why buy Zoltan Shield bypass when we have the Zoltan Ship bypass? Go through the entire sector avoiding Zoltan ships, easy. Okay, this is a Sultan ship. Fine though. Two, three, four, definitely not. Unless I want a nebula dive. It's not worth it. If it was missing hacking, sure. But at this point, the only thing I really want is a bypass or um, or other weapons for Zoltan Shields. So, no worth a dive. Oh, 
Griffin is still pretty good considering this is sector 3. The fuck? Oh, it's... Can't. Get this and this. Then I want one power bar since we don't have a battery. That's two armor shots. Ah, actually, this is fine as well. Okay. Energy controlled, sure. I can't sell anything, right? Okay, so we need... Okay, actually going here is better because I will have one, two, three... Four, five... I'll try without using a hacking here. Get the first guy. Hey, never mind. to do that. That's a stupid breach though. Let them fix the breach. I'll know where them bricks is fixed is fixed because yeah they'll do that. One missile for this fight is pretty good. No drone part. Takes a while, but this is resource management. So why not? 69 scribe as well. Take this. We already have an offer bypass. Five damage. No, a fight. With two angels. Pirate ships in NG sectors are good because they have engines. Unless they're pirate ships with Dalton Shield, then they're not good.
Ah, oh, fuck. If they clone, it will be a problem. Going by bypass. Hmm. Chain Ion suck. Okay, this this entire store sucks. Hermes will be fine if it. Well, we had. We have Artemis and another Hermes, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this entire stuff is useless. Yeah, the store sucks. Are they selling crew? No. No battery. Well then. Go find another. Ripple Mantis. Do you guys know what this means? I mean, it means nothing really. Just means that I have to delay a little bit. fuel. Thank you, Angie. I really, really appreciate. Fuck. Scary one as well. They iron my clocking. This fucking game, I can't believe it. They delayed their, the entire volley because of their clocking, so it timed perfectly with the pulsar. And then the pulsar ironed my clocking. Like, what the fuck? I dropped my shield for the pulsar, I had no shields because I dropped them. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered since... Um... Uh, they would have been ironed anyway. Was dropping shields a mistake since I was clocking anyway? And dropping shields increased the odds of the clocking getting it? I mean, but what the fuck? Maybe the play was to not flash shields in the spot. To just do the... Because if I clock, I'm fine. I have 95% evasion. And for the next volley, they're hacked. Uh, yeah, maybe it was a mistake to drop shields, but really? Yeah, I don't know, I guess it was. That's just like my Battle Royal Dreadnought, the multiverse that is lit and my ship can't explode it. Did you get bombed by the artillery? Usually the, the, the payload's artillery are what kills you on those fights. They are quite ridiculous. What is that? Four or five bombs that deal four system damage? 
plus breach every 10 seconds if you don't deal damage. I think it's just stupid. At least an extreme, because they are le level 5 artilleries. That's just 10 seconds. Okay, he's dead. Fuck the, the Ion Bomber. Oh, I don't care about the thing anymore. Maybe I won't lose this trick until Multiverse gets a new patch out, right? A few weeks. Sure. I also want to try the new Darkest Dungeon 2 patch. Since they added, well, sort of Torchless. Um... I don't know, those weapons are not particularly great for salt and shield removal. The sector 4. Heavy 2 is kinda fine. Though, maybe I'll, be, I'll buy the heavy 2. Uh, small bomb, I don't care too much. Like, it's better in case they have defense drones, but I don't think it's worth it. Just for those ships. Upcoming sector, I don't know. I call by Columbia in case I get rebel or uh, abandoned sectors. If you had to be a character in your ship, what race would you want to be? Human. Yes. I don't know how comfortable it will be to be any other guy. The quest is okay. -ish. Another reason why I bought this is because we are in a Zolt we are in an NG sector. NG sectors can roll these ships. Maybe the hacking was useless at this point. I don't know. Was it useless?
Burning is annoying though. Yeah, all the training. You're about to forget everything. But don't worry. You'll get it back. Imagine a some sort of hive mind in the FTL world and everyone experiences everyone dying and getting cloned. Five damage, of course. Imagine everyone experiencing those five damage every time in every run. Aren't Angie that? I don't know. Are they? Angie Homeworld or or Slugum Nebula. This is the easiest bypass I've ever seen. Fuck. I should have checked for other stores, yes. Thank you. For reminding me. Actually no, tank with those. So I'm cloning only them. I don't think I would have bought the mantis anyway, even if I had the scrub. One, two, three. That's possible. I mean, I can also sell the heavy laser if I get bypass. And I don't want to. Since I, I still want something for phase 2. But... This is fine. Thanks so much for the sub as well, Zilla. I really appreciate it. Do you guys believe in 85%? Happy Angus. Cloning the Mantis. Okay, that store is gone. Actually, oh, I might still be there. Where are you going? I mean, 
We're going shields. I need two borders. Because I don't want to board with Angie and Zoltan, and I want to keep those two slugs here. Get the bypass. Peace. Block. Block every two. You know what? That's good enough. Okay then, now we just want upgrades. The only thing that can deal them, okay, but they're fuck anyway since they have the mad bay. I'll clock first. Since I will have this guy for the evasion. I'm doing this since I'm boarding with the pilot and engine guy every time. The second borders, at least I get more heals. Because I really don't want to clone them. Where's the fight? Go here. Uh, you know what? I'm doing this actually. I don't want to take damage with my slugs. I can flip their position, unfortunately. So the NG will have to tank the, all the damage. Am I cloning the NG? He doesn't have meaningful training. Yes, I don't care. Get cloned. Interceptor have more weapons. As well, I noticed yesterday as well, but I mean, it was what? Pre fight sample size. So I'm not sure. Instigator. Uh, I'm so fucking dumb. I wanted to lock them here, but I didn't realize this time. It's okay. One by one. I mean, this is why I wanted to walk here. Walk here is so good, but it was supposed to be a weapon. Two versus everyone.
for the border to instead of vengeance. I mean, and waste what two minutes? I think it's lower than just boarding there and cloning one guy. Oh, nice. Another border. I'll check in. Okay, even if I have these weapons, I don't mind getting bypassed. So we're checking every store regardless. This is fine. Oh. What what do I want outside bypass? I think nothing. I mean, I can buy fuel. Go to 14. Um, get this too, and this. More fuel. 16. Let's go. Okay, now I can hack here again. Because there is weapon. It's an assault, not an instigator. So it's fine. Fucking late. Never mind, it's okay. I don't want to clone this one. Why did the human take no damage? I should have. Ugh. What the fuck? You should have face tank instead of the slug. Prediction on final score. Do I want to dive? I mean, diving is pretty safe. Let's dive. I take your weapons in check, and then I go for uh, shields. The good thing is this is a missile. I mean, it's Artemis, so it's to power, so they will always go for basic laser first.
Maybe I could have risked another boarding here. You know what? I'm lazy. Shit. Yeah, that's what you get. For being lazy. I should get weapons fire so I can play flak heavy for this kind of ships. Level 3. This is coming back soon. Wait. Can I go for piloting? Okay, they're dead. Sure. Is it better than Avi? Black Albert instead? I guess so. Nice fucking weapons. This ship is garbage. Did this, I won't clone them. Healing burst. We got it back. Vulcan. Yeah. Imagine playing Vulcan. It's actually been a while since I played Vulcan in these rounds. I haven't gotten an opportunity for Vulcan yet. Oh. Uh, well. Dive time. Not wasting my resources here. Has there been any runs you've won using Burst Laser 3? I mean, using it? Or a few beacons? Yes. For the entire run? No. Being forced to play the thing can happen. Reaching the flagship without other switching out of it, that's very, very unlikely. It could happen, but it never happened to me. Always managed to switch out of the thing. Okay, I'm hacking since I don't have engines. Close the door. Please. Oh, they don't have a med bay. Uh, 
Thanks. Oh. We are trained that they Brazil to probably play the three at least once when they were new. I don't know if I ever did that. If I did, it was a long time ago, so I don't remember. Maybe I did. Bigger weapon has to be better, right? Raid the Halberd Beam for Glaive. More damage. Don't want to see the different stuff every jump. I mean, it's more likely when you're a boarding run. Since you're bio killing every ship. Just clone that guy, everyone else is safe. Uh, what do I want next? Shields, maybe? Shield seems fine. Unless I want to give scrap for stores. Oh, I don't have to. I don't remember the quest, so probably it's Escort. Those laser 2 should be at least 6 shots, maybe even 7. Those laser 2? That will be very impressive. Um, but yeah, but laser 3 just sucks as it is. It's either that or you reduce the cooldown. Or, okay. It's either you f it fires more shots, or it has less cooldown, or... Um, or it requires more less power, like 3, three power. Anything can work. I just cloned the two mantis. Of everything I've seen is trading Albert for Avi2 and then trying to justify it. I mean, Avi2 is not bad. Albert is better. In almost. Okay. In the early game, where you d when you don't have hacking and clocking. Albert 2, I mean, Evi 2, it's technically safer than Albert Beam, just because it's faster. Being a few seconds faster means you can fire before um, certain enemy weapons. And also you have 4 damage into enemy weapons, assuming you hit. So if you're in a spot where you have, I don't know, maybe dual laser, heavy 2, or 4 weapon power... You can either rock weapons or rock evasion. And then uh, having those... De I don't know. In certain spots it is better than Albert Beam. It's just that on average it's not.
As in someone sells his burst laser to a feather, surely before the flash, so could have fully upgraded artillery. I mean, well, what's the justification for that? I don't know. It was his only weapon. Oh. How the fuck was the only weapon? I'm considering buying the whole beam and selling the heavy too. And I'll try to go weapon um, 7, halber the whole flock. It seems way better. Measure phase 3 is possible even 3 reloaders. Only artillery, it's possible, but it's shit. Yeah, let's do this. Mm. That's really annoying. Can you go back to your ship, please? You're not welcome anymore. That's how we put weapons like that though, it's easy, difficulty, let's switch people and go through to flash ship. I honestly don't even know what's the difference between um, our mode and the other difficulties outside of gaining less scrap, uh, AI targeting, and uh, um, enemies I think are a bit weaker. I don't know about the flagship itself. What's the difference on the actual flagship? Flash only three shields on easy. No idea. I really wanted that mantis. How do we do this? Uh, I think I have to do it this way. On the breakthrough, please. Fuck. I 
I call that Vakt. Never punish. I mean, I didn't want to lose my doors. That's why I didn't. The console is here, so we're fine. Which one is it with advanced edition turned off as only three shields? Oh, only with the without advanced edition. So easy with advanced edition is still for shields. I mean, I guess it's because you're hacking. Or, or at least you can have hacking. And you should have hacking. Oh, uh, I have both of them. Hello. I didn't realize this thing was still powered, the fuck? This is weapon suck, probably. Yes. It's fine. We cannot take damage. Wait, actually I don't have the quest. I misjudged this. Too bad. What was the quest? Ask her it? I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Our priority are... is what? Weapon 7. That's it. Some power bars. Civilian. Do I want the store? I mean, not really. Okay, maybe bypass. I still kinda want bypass. Let's start doing this. Now I can work on weapons. Actually, I need this still. Now we can start working on weapons. Burst the opportunity. I missed it, unfortunately. I don't want to sell 15. 5 is fine. Um, sure. Wait. Level 3, really? Come on. This is gonna be fine though. I promise. Now we go to the store, we buy a bypass finally. Yeah. 
If you keep saying it, eventually it will happen. It's not even a big deal. But I want it. Glaive Beam. Glaive Beam, Albert Beam, we'll go for the one shot. Honestly. Double burst three. Uh, let's just upgrade for the whole beam and that's it. Uh, double check if I want anything. No. Okay, the, no point keeping this. I don't need it. 165, then power. The first symmetrical ship? You mean the one that exploded? That one? I don't know if I want to be that one. Let's watch them die. Oh, I can't. Not quite. One, two, three, so no point going to the nebula. All missile. Sure. You want damage then open. power bar. I still need oxygen as well. That's fine. I could get it now. I call dive. Dives are safe at this point.
Can I win? Of course I can. I'm that guy is a human. Perfect, perfect. Aggressive maneuvers. Hmm. What would it be? Just turning around. What will be an aggressive maneuver? Just clock this and the ASB. Kill this guy. Let's go. Sector 8. I guess we have a store. Okay, we have stuff actually. I forgot. Good. Maybe bypass, right? At the very end, we get a bypass. Ah, uh, no, that's another Alberview. Um. Ah. Uh. Weapons 8, double halberd, hold beam. Oh, why not, right? Another burst 3. What are the odds of not getting enough scrap? Ah, it's impossible, I can just sell the flag, right? Not having weapon training kind of sucks. If I were three plus pregnatus, then maneuver. I mean, honestly, even after all that, I think there's still shit. That's how bad that weapon is. Am I winning? Of course I am. What is the maneuver? Essentially charging multiple weapons with a pre-igniter by depowering and powering something because see when you depower a weapon you keep some of the charge So you depower charge another weapon then you jump and then you have um, uh, The new one that are fully powered because of the pre-igniter and the other ones that technically are losing charge But they still have quite a lot of it So you fire the first two then put the power back on the previous ones 
and you can have multiple pre-ignited weapons even if you're exceeding the normal weapon power but i mean doing it reliably on a pause it's bad with pause you can do it like it's it obviously it's it's kind of whatever, but it gets very powerful if you have like what double flak to double glaive beam, for example. Since you can fire um, the fourteen flak projectiles, and then you have double uh, glaive beam. But realistically, it's kind of whatever. The situations where you can, like, when you can do something like that in a normal run. The run is over anyway, so you're gaining almost nothing out of it. I mean, I'm resetting shields and what? I don't know. Like, it's still doable um, without pause. The problem is, if you fuck up, you lose a lot more than what you gain if you succeed. That's why it's not worth it. And also, it requires an insane setup anyway, so... I mean, if you have that setup, the run is fine regardless. Because it requires big weapons plus pre-igniter. I forgot to flash shields because I'm bad. That's fine. I don't know if I need it, but I'll fire anyway, just in case. Bypass, no. We don't need it though. We are triple beam one shot. Technically, I don't even have to board. But I'm doing it anyway. It's still slightly safer to kill everyone. Kill one damage. I don't even bother getting these guys back. I want to board with Mantis again. Oh, pretty good. If they yuck my teleporter with power in it, my guys will get teleported back and then it, it gets cooled down, yes. this guy
Don't deal too much damage. I have to wait for doors. Just remove shields, we killed with beams. fucking thing um i mean let's just clone thank you nanashi betrayed i mean they don't remember that they betrayed them though right they're dead. I mean, I'm not even boarding, right? Okay, do I board just for safety in case I fuck up with the beams? Yes. Let's board for safety. But I don't think I need it. I mean, I don't need it for if I don't fuck up the positioning. It's also double Albert beam, I forgot. I thought I had double hole beam, so it's. Well, fucking up double Albert, it's hard. So now we play around mind control. What's the best spot? I don't really have a good spot. This guy's fine. He can stay in weapons actually. And everyone else goes... Where? Here? this okay will you prefer playing multiverse against some point yes i was waiting for the new patch and i kind of wanted to play again after i lose the streak just to take a little break from vanilla I can't fucking believe it that they did that, I forgot. Okay, it doesn't matter.
Uh, let's see, 5700. Pretty good. Yeah, I don't know, this is kind of average. 1800 scrap loss.